Field goals are certainly better than touchdowns, and in today's video, I'm going to give you two tools that are really going to help you as you try to develop some kind of system to make sure that you score in the red zone and also some kind of system to make sure that you are able to defend the red zone. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and today we're going to kind of continue give you part two, the second day of our 30 day YouTube challenge. And here's, here's basically the challenge. We said it uh, a couple of days ago, we're going to actually kind of start it over here. Cause I had to take a little break. The 30 day challenge is, is, is what we want to do is in 30 days, I want to go from good to great in Madden 18. So I want to go from, you know, just an average player to someone that can really consistently compete in the tournaments. And so the way that we're going to do that is we have a very simple plan, very s simple to follow plan. And here is in it of a nutshell. My goal is to win one, one um, title, basically go six, six and oh every two days. So every two days, which equivalents to winning three games a, a day. Um, that's that's really my plan. Uh, I plan that in a, in a week, I don't want to lose more than twice. Okay, in, in ideal world, I don't want to lose more than twice. And with the mathematics that I calculated out the other day, um, I, right now I'm ranked, I think, 166 in the world. I will be able to get into the top 100 uh, within 30 days. So what I would like this this uh, series to do for you is we're going to do this once every day. You're going to see one of these games uh, every day. You're not going to see the whole game, but you're going to see some highlights. And what I hope that this does is I hope that this gives you the tools that you need to then go and do this yourself. So in the day's video, the first thing that I'm going to focus on is, as you can see here, he scored seven points and I only scored three. This is what I want to highlight for you is the first lesson I want to teach you is the importance of having some kind of plan for the red zone. The red zone is by far the most important position on the field, especially this season, because in this year's game specifically, it is very difficult to score in the red zone. And it's also very difficult at times, in my opinion, to play defense in the red zone. And so for me, if I'm going to be successful, I know that on my defense, my number one goal in my entire defensive strategy is to make you number one, have to drive up the field. And number two, what I really want to do is force you to take a field goal. So I want to be able to basically play a bend, but don't break defense. I don't care if you run the ball for 500 yards on me, as long as I keep you out of the end zone and I force you to take field goals, I believe that I will win the game. So with that, there comes some very specific planning that I have to do to ensure that that happens. One of those things is that I need to, develop a strategy to stop someone in the red zone. So let's talk about um, kind of one of the best ways to do this is to is to force yourself to really think through it. Uh, most people here, let me just kind of give you one little backstory and then we'll hop into this. What's really important for you as a Madden player is to understand that the game is not just about how well you can blitz. It's actually there's so many more components to this game that you really need to know. The, the first component that I believe a lot of people really don't know is that it's not about, again, how many people you can get free on a blitz. It's about how do your plays keep the opponent out of the end zone. So for me, uh, defensively, you'll see I run a lot of cover four. The reason I, I run cover four, I believe it's probably the toughest defense in the in the Madden to face. There's a very few couple plays that can beat cover four. I personally do know those plays too. And I know that the plays that beat cover four normally uh, will have some trouble beating cover two. So, when I, when I kind of put this all together, what I'm thinking through is once we get down to the red zone, and I know my defense, if you if you looked at my defense, and I run the defense that we put in the premium membership, the 35 odd, which by the way, if you're a premium member, I am really excited for you guys. You guys are going to get some really, really good updates uh, in the next couple of uh, days. There's really some good content that I have coming for you. I've been doing a lot of playing a lot of games over break. Uh, and really just kind of learning more about the game so that I can give you guys uh, a lot more content and a lot better content. But anyways, with the red zone specifically, here's here's what they here's what they're going to do. You've got a couple of really popular strategies. The first one is that people are going to throw high point bullet passes to try to get a one on one. This is actually my strategy. This is one of the main things that I will do um, if I'm trying to score in the red zone. So for me, how do you stop high point bullet passes? Well, the, the real way you stop it is through some kind of 
in my experience, the best way to stop it is by running cover three or something like cover three. So the defining factor of a cover three is that you have a specific player that's in a deep blue zone in the middle of the field. If you have that, normally I have not seen the high point passes work as well. Uh, at least for me, when I run them, if someone runs cover three on me, it makes it a little bit more difficult. The problem is, if the, is that if they run, if you run a cover three defense, then there's a couple of other openings that the that the uh, that the defense now has. The first one being the running game. So the, the the real critical component of the cover four, the reason the cover four you see it be so successful is because it stops the running game. Here real quick on offense, you see um, the first strategy that I want, the, the thing that I want to work is I want to be able to just run the ball, right? That's what I want to be able to do. And it doesn't always work out, but uh, occasionally you get, you know, one or two block sheds and, and you're not able to run. The best running plays that I would suggest, if, if I was going to go back and do it over again, I should have ran the stretch play right there. But anyways, defensively, so you run the cover three. The next thing that you can do is that you, which the reason you want to run cover four is because if you run the cover four, a couple of things are really important to note. The first thing is that you have better run defense automatically because you're in a cover four. We all know, if you guys are watching this video by now, you know that the cover four defense is a very good defense to stop the run because of the run fit system that uh, Madden has. With that specific run fit system, what that means for you guys is is that the run fit uh, is going to force those, those safeties will come down in the box and they'll play run defense for you, uh, which makes you much, much, much better at stopping off tackle runs and even inside runs to an extent. It doesn't make you better at stopping toss runs, but we have some tools that you can use. All right, so that's that in a nutshell. The, the next thing that you want to do, though, is so you want to come out in a cover four. You want to then take somebody and put them in a deep blue. Somebody. It doesn't have to be the safeties, but really you just need some kind of designated player that's in a middle deep third zone as if it would be like a cover three. So what I normally do is I'll take um, my, I'll come out, this is my red zone play. So three, four odd, and I come out in the cover four mic. I put the blitzing linebacker in a deep blue zone if they are in a passing formation. If they're not in a passing formation, if they're in, if they're in legitimately like a running set, then I will typically, um, I will typically not put him in anything either maybe I might spy him I rarely actually do uh, but I probably should do it a little bit more okay another thing that's really important to understand about defense and the field goals over touchdowns battle uh, real quick is the two minute drill so the two minute drill is really 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 critical for your uh, off or for your defense to be able to win if you can win in the two minute drill and if you can win in the red zone I would argue that you can win pretty much everywhere that you're going to try to win in this year's game OK, so one of the key ways to do that is an understanding that they can't most people in a two minute situation are going to try if they have timeouts, they're going to try to go to a deep post route because that's going to get them down the field quick. If they don't have timeouts and you're likely going to see them a heavy, heavy sideline attack, um, they're going to try to basically get the ball uh, on the edges so that they can. Um, hit something hit something like that uh, because if they don't have timeouts like if they, they can't stop the clock if they throw over the middle of the field there's also different situations based on time that you'll need to understand we'll talk a little bit more about that in another video but I come out in the cover for Mike for the red zone D and then what I do is I put that guy in a deep third I put my corners I shade my coverage down so that my linebackers play the hard flat so we can actually pick off some of those flat passes that you'll see a lot of people throw then the next step is I take my outside corners and I put them in cloud flats. What this is going to do is it's going to accomplish two things. Number one, you're not going to be able to throw corner routes on me in the red zone. Number two, and more importantly, what this is going to allow um, is it's going to allow me as a, as a defense to now be able to have some type of designated run stopper, run stopper, in the um, off the edges, so you'll get the you'll get the tosses if you put them in the heart in the cloud flats because now they are uh, it, it's the same kind of animation that you would get if they were blitzing. They're staying down as opposed to backing off of the snap, so that's really critical. But anyways, guys, um, that's kind of my defensive strategy uh, for holding people to field goals over touchdowns. Offensively, uh, you saw I like to run the stretch. I think the stretch is one of the toughest runs in the game to stop, especially from a, a trip set. And I'll be honest, I learned that from the 
uh, Madden player Joel. But anyways, guys, if you're enjoying this series, um, be sure to, uh, if you have not already, leave your email in the description so that I can send you the free bunch guide. I'm going to try to send that out once a day to everybody on the channel. So I just want, as we're getting new people, as new people continue to subscribe, I would really like it um, to get that bunch guide in your hands. So if you're interested in that, um, again, all I need is your email address and I can get that guide to you completely free. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you